Well, I'm back with uh, with Rob, and this is um, part seven of uh, <laughs> of our um, clips today. And I, I'm going to do a little sort of wander around Rob, if he'd be good enough just to um, keep his eye on the camera. Now, <laughs> we're looking out sort of west behind Rob there, and um, this is on a hill in Mid Wales, just up above the town of Welshpool, called Arasht. Highest point has got a continuous small ring contour, 230 metres. There's a mast that's just come into screen and disappearing. And um, the reason why we're here, Rob, is because this hill is in Mark Jackson's listing of humps, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, um, I asked Rob just before starting this who should give the definition. I volunteered. <laughs> I'm going to offer Rob to give the definition of what is a hump. Well, thank you very much. Well, uh, hump stands for 100 metres prominence. Uh, prominence uh, which we know is reascent in this country. Uh, if you imagine the sea level rising until we were standing on an island, then the height of the island would be at least 100 metres for it to be 100 metre prominence. So that's how prominence works. And of course, um, you mentioned two words there, prominence, reascent. It's also known as uh, rise, drop. Yeah. And it's also relative height, isn't it? Yeah, well, topographical prominence. Yeah. Now, of course, I thought it'd be quite nice to do this segment on two major hill listings that one you were very close to completing and the other one you were uh, leading. <laughs> yeah, you're quite a way off, but sort of leading, uh, sort of head, head, heading into finishing. And those are the Marilyns and the Humps. And of course, the first listing, the Marilyns, uh, was done by Alan Dawson mm -hmm. in the, uh, was it early, mid uh, 1990s? Uh, late, late 80s, was it? Was it late 80s? I think so. A long while ago, anyway, yeah. there was a book published called The Relative Hells of Britain, which had a picture of Marilyn Monroe for a reason which is not gone clear, really. <laughs> and of course, uh, the Marilyns, Rob, how many are there? Oh, uh, well, perhaps from 1554 or 55 or something. It keeps changing because of these wretched surveyors that uh, <laughs> Mer Mervyn hangs around with. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Quite a, a lot, anyway. That's a reference to uh, John and Graham. And I believe in recent weeks there's, there's been another demotion, hasn't there? Which was Bay Stones was demoted, yeah. Bay Stones, yeah, and that's yeah. a yo-yoing Marilyn. Uh -huh. Originally in the list, then out in, and now out again. And yeah. of course, I think the total, although, again, it is ever changed. I think it's uh, 154. Five, five four at the moment. Yeah, apparently so. Yeah. And how many have you got left to do? Just Rob? two. Just two. Now there's two other people, isn't there? That now I I, I don't yeah. know them. Mm. I may have met them at a Marhoffen meet at Bilth Wells a couple of years ago. And who are those two that are on the same total? Ken White, a Scotsman, and uh, Alan Holmes, a Geordie. Now, the two that you have remaining, where are they positioned? They're. Uh, a long way off the Scottish coast in uh, the St Kilda archipelago. And they're quite difficult because they're sea stacks, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Uh, one is a bit of a technical climb, the other is kind of scrambly, but they're both difficult to land on. And they both um, uh, have large breeding populations of gannets, so we're only allowed to visit in the winter when the, the sea condition isn't suitable for landing. Apart from that, it's quite easy. So when does the winter se season end? It's effectively, it's, it's, it's a matter of when the gannets breeding season and they're on eggs kind of mid to late April and there are youngsters around through September, October. So, uh, so we're filming this early March, so the weather mm -hmm. window and obviously the gannet, gannet breeding season, mm -hmm. uh, it's all dependent on whether you can get there. So you've got about another month this year to yeah, try and get there? the window is closing really, yeah. We keep looking at the forecast and uh, I mean if you to look at the uh, synoptic charts at the moment you see a lovely big high uh, over St Kilda at the moment and if you look at the swell forecast you'll see about five or six feet so it just makes no sense to me but that's how it is that's well, the Atlantic well I wish you Alan and Ken well for you know if you can get up there before this window closes this year otherwise you know good luck for next year now if we let now progress from the Marilyns onto the humps and the Marilyns although um, the list has been in the public domain for a, um, a number of years all Marilyns are humps, aren't they? Because humps, again, you're bringing the prominence down from Marilyn 150 metres down to hump 100 metres. Yeah, yeah. Now, the person that devised the humps and sort of put together uh, what is now quite a superb e-book that you can access 
through the internet. That's Mark Jackson, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, as he points out himself, he didn't compile the data as such. Uh, it kind of started out largely with um, Yeaman's book, and uh, Clem Clements, who we were talking about earlier, did the same thing for England and Wales, but Mark's put it all together and done a lot of map checking and improved the data a lot. Uh, yeah, and uh, he's still only 18. Yeah, I believe he's in, uh, I think, Cambridge University at the moment, studying mathematics. And with a bit of luck, I'll be able to um, see Mark in the next uh, next month or so, and possibly really do a yeah. yeah do a YouTube article. It'll be, be great to uh, to meet him. But um, saying that, though, Rob, um, I believe Scotland, uh, Clement mapped Scotland down to an absolute height of 300 metres, but I don't think below. Now, I'll be... I'm standing here to be corrected, but I think um, now whether other other people had, I'm not too positive. Oh, Yemen did Scotland down to down to 100 metres. That's true. Yeah. So uh, I need to take that back quick. Uh, that's how much I know about Yemen's work. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, as far as the humps are concerned, how many are there? Are there, are there in in Britain? Uh, we thought there was going to be about 3,000, but uh, Mark seems to have. Uh, got the list down to just under two, 2990 at the moment so, so it looks like it's probably not going to quite make 3000. And your total at the moment for humps? 2602. 2602. Now there's two or three people you know I'm guessing maybe a hundred shy of you or a couple of hundred shy? Yeah I'm not not sure on, on the totals but yeah there are, I mean Ken White that we mentioned before he's well over 2,000 I think Alan Holmes if you can only add his list up Alan if you're watching <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, there's also yeah, there are quite a few of the Bowkers I yeah think, Roland and Anne and Roland Bowker yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, I'm going to probably get caught up actually unless I get this my act to go because I've been too busy <laughs> doing other things and um, I, I, I sort of enjoy uh, uh, getting hill lists Rob and looking at them, analysing them for my sins and I think um, the Marilyns and the Humps are fantastic lists because they take in the whole of Britain. Clem's done the Marilyns for Ireland in a tacit publication many many years ago which was quite a superb book and one of the most detailed uh, reference sources for uh, things to do with Irish hills but um, by using prominence as the main criteria, that is, or cri- yeah, criteria, that's opened up vast tracts of land in Britain, hasn't it? You don't then just go to the, you know, the usual areas of heading up to the Highlands or Snowdonia or you know, right. down around the lakes. Yeah, yeah. It's all over Britain. Mm-hmm. And again, mm-hmm. you know, the it's little. East Anglia, we don't have any East Anglia. We've got some. We've got some Yemens, but we don't have any Humps. <laughs> and of course, the difference is that Yemen uses yeah. distance within distance, the. Yeah, we've got some distance. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it brings you out onto little hills like this, you know, Arashed, yeah. up above the Seven Valley. Yeah. And. P one o three, you were saying. Yeah, and yeah. you know, a very grey day today, but the views are fantastic. Looking west towards some of the um, the larger hills in mid mid Wales, and. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I've only had one visit up here before, and um, mm. that was uh, in this past winter when the snow was down. And the views are just stunning yeah. from here. They're very, very good. It opens up a lot more of the Scottish islands as well. You know, you've got the likes of Col and Tyree, Col and Say, none of the Low Marilyns even. You know, um, and, uh, a few more sea stacks. <laughs> yeah. Well, of course, the two <coughs> remaining sea stacks for the um, you and Alan and Kent to look at for the Marilyns. You have more sea stacks again within the Humps, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, and I think the, the likes of the old man and the man of Hoy and a couple of Mingule um, and the great stack of hand are there, you know, pretty serious climbs really, probably beyond uh, what uh, I could even get dragged up. <laughs> and Practically you, Jumar technique, I think. <laughs> and, and you're getting older, Rob. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stopped having birthdays at the best of <laughs> So um, I think you, Ken and Alan, can probably all see the day now that the Marilyns are going to be completed, but as you said, you may find the sea stacks for the humps uh, as you're nearing the um, uh, the sort of end you may find your competitive streak comes in there Rob and just try to polish them up I, I don't know <laughs> well we're almost ending the um, this little section Rob on the Marilyns and the humps and uh, this is the penultimate we've got one more section to do and I want to take you farther afield now and uh, we're going to close off in a few seconds for this one farther afield to probably the world's best hill list and that is the ultras so for now rob uh, again great pleasure and many many thanks and i'll just close off cheers